Hello, it's Paul Venables, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to do subdomains from inside of your cPanel. And a cPanel is what you get when you go with a hosting company. Um, I've used HostGator before. Right now, I'm using D9. Uh, both of them have the exact same cPanel. Uh, with any hosting company, you'll always have this cPanel right here. Uh, so, first of all, I want to clarify what a subdomain is. I've had this question come up already a couple times. So this is a domain. This is the main domain. And when you buy a domain like this, you can simply do the redirect method like I share with you throughout the training as well. But also, this one domain could have many subdomains like this, like the main domain slash dog training, uh, and also the main domain dot com slash weight loss or other niches. So the easiest way is to do that in your cPanel. Now you can also do this by creating a WordPress account and installing a plugin like the redirection plugin where you can make those redirect links within WordPress. It's very easy if you're familiar with WordPress. But if you're not, then I'll share with you uh, another way. And this is actually what I'm doing now and I find it even easier than having to install WordPress. And this is from within inside cPanel. And this is my domain. I will have this censored. For the purpose of this video, just pay attention that I have selected my domain here and then go all the way down until you see the section called domains. And in this section, there's subdomains, there's add-on domains, there's park domains, and there's redirects. I'm going to click on the redirects button and that will load. And then it'll have information for me to do a redirect. And so all I have to do is come here and select my domain. Then you want to make sure that you do a redirect with the exact same information in the subdomain. So in this case, if we wanted to do dog training, then we just copy that part and then paste it right here. And then in this section, you paste in your specific link that you want to redirect to. So paste in your link here, and then you click Add. I always make sure that the dot is uh, in here as well so that it will redirect with or without www. And then you just click Add. And then after you've added that in, then it will look something like this. I'm just going to take this down a little bit so I can show you here. There we go. So it will look exactly like this. And it will have your main domain here, uh, and then the subdomain and different subdomains that you've added here. And then it'll also have the location uh, that you'll be redirecting to in this area. And, uh, and you can always view that here and remove it if you want. 